Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me for a cash planning video. I am going to be cash planning for the week. Actually, my YouTube paycheck, which is super exciting. I always enjoy making this video because it's thanks to all of you viewing my videos uh, that I have this money to cash stuff this weekend. So thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video all the other videos if you watch them even if you're just watching this for the first time i really really appreciate it um if you're not already make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you like it because that also helps out my channel so yeah i'd really appreciate it um but yeah i just wanted to say thank you i really appreciate all of your views over here on my channel and all the support um because i have a really nice paycheck again this month um for youtube actually it's for last month's youtube uh, amount so i'm going to cash plan for that and i'm going to show you how i figure that out in this video first things first i need to figure out how much money i'm actually going to be cash stuffing for this week because I was paid $2,743, or $2 but that's not how much I plan on cash stuffing and cash planning for this week. The first thing I need to do is put money aside for taxes because taxes need to be accounted for and I always like to have that in a separate account so that way I don't get like mixed up and or tempted to to spend that money it's just for taxes so i take 30 percent of that amount that i got paid and i just put that straight into i basically have like a tax savings account that i just put it into and then i pay my taxes with that money so it looks like i'm going to be putting 822 dollars actually 823 i'm going to round it up 823 is going for taxes which is a lot of money <laughs> but that has to be done so um two seven let's see two thousand seven forty three minus eight twenty three i'm left with nineteen twenty now this still isn't the amount that i plan on cash stuffing for this week i do like to take a portion of all of my paychecks all of my like my full-time job paychecks and then my youtube and patreon paychecks and i like to put a chunk of money from those and put it aside for my rent. So from my YouTube paycheck, I like to take 500 of this money and just put it into another savings account where I save for my rent for next month. So 500 of this is going to go into my rent savings. So I'm just going to subtract 500. So that leaves me with 1420. And that still isn't the amount that I plan on cash stuffing for this week. The next thing I'm going to do is just put some money just directly into savings. It's just going to go just slide right into a savings account um, and just build interest on that. So, oops, shouldn't have cleared that. So 14, 20, I'm going to do 20% of this and just put it right into savings. So that's 284. Okay, so now when I subtract 14, 20 uh, minus 284... I'm left with 1136. That's the amount now that I'm going to cash stuff for this week. So 1136, I'm gonna write that up here. Um, but that's what I'm cash planning for this week. So I like to go over how much I make on YouTube just to disclose that since um, it's nice to see that, you know, this is a nice little side, um, side hustle, I guess you can say. Uh, I mean, it's grown for me more than that. Uh, which is really really nice but even if you have like a small channel because i don't have a huge channel um like compared to people who have like hundreds of thousands or millions of, of subscribers and like tons and tons of views i do put out content a lot i put out a lot of content so that helps to um get a nice paycheck for each month uh, which is why i do like to put out that content because i enjoy making it i enjoy that people wa like watching it and then i do um get a nice paycheck from it thank thankfully uh but it is a lot of work i'm not gonna lie it's a lot of work uh but it's nice to at least see that even like a small channel like mine can give you a very nice little income to help because i live in san diego so honestly any any extra income especially living here is very much appreciated um so so yeah thank you so much again for watching my videos i really appreciate it really helps out a lot so as you can see i have 11:36, and i'm going to just share how i plan on splitting this up into all of my envelopes 
my sinking funds, my wallet, and I have some sa uh, more savings challenges. So more money will be going into savings in some fun ways. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just go over all of that in this video with that amount. Okay, so first things first is my wallet. Now this week, I put a little bit more into my wallet than I normally do on my YouTube paycheck week. I like to treat myself a little bit more, you know, for all that hard work um, and just splurge a little bit more when it comes to my coffee budget. Uh, but that's about it. Everything else gets basically the same amount. So spending is going to get 30, which is my usual amount. Eating out gets 30 as well. Groceries gets 80. Uh, coffee will this week will get 30 instead of 20. And then, but Buffer will have 10. So that's a total of 180. I already figured out the tallies for that. So that one is good to go. So I'm just gonna subtract 180 from here. So I'm left with 956. Now I wanna do a savings challenge first before I move on to all of my sinking funds just to get this one out of the way. Um, because this one is like a little game I like to play. This one I got off of Etsy. I always have this one linked down in my description, the Etsy shop that I purchased it from, it's a printable, just printed that from my home printer. And yeah, it's just a fun little game. I always like to play one that has like dice involved because I think that's fun. Because then I just let the dice figure it out for me, which is nice. But I do like to plan ahead for this one. So I'm gonna first roll to see how many times I'm rolling. So I'm rolling three times. So let's roll and see what amounts over here I'm gonna be doing. So I have five and three, so I just kind of go here, and three is actually a mushroom, so that's five dollars. And then let's go to the next roll. We got four and five, so four and five, which is a star, and that's a dollar. And there are um, in that in this power up that I purchased off of that Etsy shop, there are different variations. I think I have the low end one. I need to get more of the mid or higher one for like these weeks where I have a little bit more, um, just cause you have more chance of getting these larger amounts than the smaller ones. So I have to remember to do that. I keep forgetting, but this one, um, oh, I got another mushroom one and two. So that's another five. Okay. So this is actually a pretty good amount. So $11. I'm happy with that, those rolls. All right. So $11 is going to be going into this challenge and I'm just going to write that down here. Power up is 11 so it's minus 11 perfect all right i'm gonna come back to this binder towards the end once i've figured out all my other envelopes that i want to fill so next up i'm gonna go into this black one okay hold on there's some ones that i want to prioritize first though so i got emergency which i think this week i want to put so i could put a good amount into these and honestly, this is all just kind of like how much I feel like I should put in here. I know which ones I want to prioritize more than others. And I kind of have an idea of how much I should put in. And if I can, I'll maybe put in a little bit more if I have more left over. We'll see. But I think for this week, emergency, I'm trying to think if I should do 50 or 60. I kind of want to do 60, but then I don't know how much I'll have left over because I'm going to do six, if I, whatever amount I do in here, I'll do it to a couple of envelopes. I like to match them. So if I do 60, that's like 180, 180. You know, what? I'm just going to do it. I feel like 60 is the right amount that I should be putting in here. So let's go 60 here. It just feels right. Um, extra savings is going to get... 60, as, as you can see, I'm putting even more into savings. I already put 284 into savings. Now I'm putting another 16 into savings. Um, and then the other one that I like to do is my treat yourself envelope right here. I have 11.21 in here. This week, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna match it. So this one's gonna get 60. Okay. And then I guess I'll see if, if I can put more. I will put more though. Because like I said, I like to prioritize those three envelopes first. Okay, and I'm going to go down the line. So auto repair, I have 115. I'm going to put 40 in here. Electronics, I'm going to put, I just ordered the new iPhone. 
and I think the first payment's gonna be a little bit more. But I think I have some time to save for it. So I'm gonna put 40. Okay, I already did emergency, I already did extra savings. Furniture is not a huge priority and I actually have a decent amount here, I'm 98. And I actually don't even know what, if I need anything, I don't have anything in mind for this one. So I think I'm just gonna put 20 in here. It's not a huge priority. Rainy day, I do wanna get a little bit more in here because I only have 25. So I'm gonna put 45 in here. Registration is already fully funded, so I don't have to worry about that one. Road trip, I'm going out of town, but I already have enough for that trip to go out of town. I think I want to put 30 in here, just for like, I'll have a head start or like for the next trip. So that'll be good. Sensi, I'll have 38. I'm going to put 20 in here. Subscriptions, I have 195. This one's gonna get 30. And travel, I'm gonna put 30 in here as well. Okay, I'm left with 510. I feel like I'll be able to bump some of these up a little bit more though, so, so that's good. Okay, so next one is this grayish binder. Beauty, $24. There are some things I need to buy cleanser soon. And there's one other thing I want to buy, but I can't remember what it is. Um, oh, probably more moisturizer. So I'm going to put 40 in beauty. Clothing. There's some new shoes I want to get. So I'm going to put 30 in here. Content. I'm going to put 25. Costco, I'm gonna put 25 in here as well. Family, I have 55. I'm gonna put 30 in family. Gifts, I'm gonna put 20. Home, let's put I think I'm, I'm trying to think ahead of my envelopes. Oh, and I forgot 200 envelope. Oh no, I might have messed up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put 20 in um, home and household. I need toilet paper soon and paper towels. So I'm gonna put 30 in household. Target is gonna get 20. Okay, I need to go to 100 envelope because I completely forgot about that. Okay, so 100 envelope. I have, I'm gonna go to the next large number. Okay, which is 60. Okay, I'm gonna do 60. That's the next large number to fill in here. So let me write that in here. 100 envelope is getting 60. Okay, I just have a couple more and then I have some savings challenges. So hopefully I have enough for what I wanna do here. It's kinda like all on the fly, which is basically how I roll with these things. Um, Go Wild has 940. I'm gonna put 30 in Go Wild. Disneyland. I'm going to Disney this weekend. I'm gonna put 30. Oops. Fun. I'm also going out to eat dinner with my friends and my sister. So I'm gonna put, I have 58. We're going to kind of a fancy restaurant though. So I think I'm gonna put 40 in here just to make sure I have enough. I think that would be enough, I think. Yeah. Um, Christmas. Okay, I have Christmas, holiday decor, and hobbies. Okay, I think I'm, I should be good. Christmas, I'm gonna do 25. Holiday decor, I'm just gonna put 10. You ready to treat yourself? Hobbies is gonna get 10. <laughs> it's not a huge priority. Okay, $65 left. 
And I think, do I wanna put all that in savings? Hmm. Let me see in here what I have. Oh yeah, because I have some challenges in here. Okay, I have this 52 circles. Let's do 20 in the 52 circles. That leaves me with 45. So I'm gonna do this $10 challenge. I'm gonna do 20. The $5 challenge, I'm gonna do 15. I have $10 left. So that 10 is just gonna go into dollars. The dollar challenge. Okay. And actually more of that, more money is gonna go into those savings challenges because I have, so far I have some leftover money in my wallet. Most of this money will go into savings challenges. So this will be getting more than what I'm planning here. But I think, I think I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think I'm happy with those amounts. I kind of made, I, the, the envelopes that I was really wanted to focus on, like I said, were um, emergency, extra savings, the treat yourself envelope. I also, fun, I wanted to make sure I had enough money for fun, because fun is my eating out, like fun uh, dining out kind of envelope. That's what I like to do for fun is going to restaurants and having fun with friends. So um, I think I have enough for that. Um, and Disney, because I'm going to Disney before we go to dinner. So it's gonna be a very fun day. Oh, and if you watch my shop with me videos, I'll probably take you along on that too. So that's always fun to see. Um, but yeah, that should be the full 1136. I'm just gonna double check all of my amounts because I wanna make sure that this really is 1136 and that I didn't mess up anywhere because Hmm. I feel like I did mess up somewhere. Oh no, I didn't. I have an 11 here. I was like, wait, how is it adding up to six? Okay. No, this is right. This is probably right. Okay. So I'm just going to just calculate all these amounts. I like to do this off camera because I feel like it's less pressure and I don't mess up as much. So I'm going to do it off camera, finish this up, and then see if everything adds up to that 1136. All right, so all good. This does equal 11.36. Now I can move on to the next step, which is figuring out all the tallies that I, basically all the denominations that I'm going to be asking for when I go to the bank uh, tomorrow. So auto repair has 40, so that's going to be 220s. Electronics has 220s. Emergency is 60, so I'm going to ask for a 50 and a 10. So is extra savings. Furniture is 20. Rainy day is 45, two 20s and a five. Road trip is 30, 20 and a 10. Sensi is 20, subscriptions is 30. And so is travel. Uh, beauty is 40, so that's two 20s. Clothing is 30, 20 and a 10. Content is 25, another 25. Family is 30, 20 and a 10. Gifts is 20. Home is 20, household is 30, 20, another 30, 30. Fun is 40, so that's two 20s. Christmas is 25, holiday decor is 10. Treat yourself is 60, so that's a 50 and a 10. Oops, I messed up. I was like, I know that didn't seem right. That didn't feel right. Put it in a five. This is where I mess up sometimes, is on the tallies. Uh, hobbies is 10, power up is 11, so that's 10 and a one. 100 envelope is 60, so that is 50 and a 10. 52 circles is 20. $10 challenge is 20, so I'm gonna do two tens. $5 challenge is 15, so that's three fives. And $1 challenge basically is 10. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is just count up all the tallies. So 50s, one, two, three, four, five. 20s, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 
tens. I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Okay. Fives. I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. I'm sorry, ones. I have ten, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. So now I'm just going to multiply these to make sure that when I add them up, it equals 1136. So 50, so that's two fifties, two, sorry, fifties, $250 total. Uh, 20s is 600, 20 or 10s is 230, uh, fives is 40, and then ones is 16. Okay, let's see if this adds up. So this is always the fun part to see if I did it all right. Perfect. All right, so 1136 is correct. Now I'm just going to get a little sticky note. Okay. And I'm just going to write out the amounts here so I can give it to the teller. So I got $50. I need five of those, that's 250. 20, I need 30, that's 600. Uh, tens, 23, total of 230. Five, eight, and that's $40. And then ones, I need 16, that's $16 total of 11.36. Okay, so I just take the, this to the bank and they give me all that money and those denominations, super easy. All right, so that is it for this video. Again, thank you so much for watching, for taking the time out of your day to watch, especially if you watch to the very end. You're amazing. I really appreciate that. You're not like watching those ads or just like skipping through them it all counts and it's amazing and i appreciate it and that's what helps me to get that this paycheck so thank you so much again for watching i really appreciate you being here if you're not already make sure to hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure to check out the cash stuffing video for this youtube paycheck um because that will be up on sunday sunday morning so definitely check that out um, but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day and i also hope to see you in the next video